Dan Perry here with another Dan on Tech Python video. As we continue looking at while loops, we're going to go through a while loop a number of times and simulate a coin toss. Now, we could do this with a for loop as well, but we're looking at while loops. I'm going to set a count equal to zero, and then I'm going to go to through a while loop while the count is less than, let's start with, say, 10. So as long as the count's less than 10. And what I want to do is I want to toss coins. If the result is heads, we want to print heads. If it's tails, we print tails. Now, there's not a way to generate, say, a random word heads or tails. So what we'll do is we'll say that tails are equal to 0 and heads are equal to 1. Now we're going to use a random function. The rand range function will generate a random number inside of a range that we give it. It works very similar to the range function in that if we give it a single parameter, we're giving it an upper limit. If we give it two parameters, we're going to give it a start and an end value. So I'm going to generate a toss and I'm going to say that my toss is equal to from the random library and I have imported the library rand range and I want to generate either a 0 or a 1 so if I put a range of 2 in that would generate integers that are 0 or 1 because the upper limit is 2 so it does not ever reach the upper limit so I've generated a toss. Now, how do I find out if it's a heads or a tails? Well, an if statement. So I'll say if the toss is equal to zero, I'm going to print heads. else or otherwise I'm going to print tails if I were to try to run this right now I would be in an infinite loop because I'm not ever changing count so I do need to increment the count function so if I do plus equals one, that's going to take the current value of count and add one to it. Same as saying count is equal to count plus one. And that will add one to count each time it goes through the loop. I could have done this again with a for loop using the range command, but we want to see how it can be done and we're, we're looking at while loops right now. So if I run this, I've got a series heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, several heads. Let's make a couple of changes to the print statements. I'll add a space inside the heads and tails, and then I'm going to say comma, and I'm going to say end equals, and just the empty string in both cases. And what that will do is keep it from going to a new line each time. So now if I run it, I'm going to get the heads and tails across so I can see it a little bit better. So I've got tails, heads, tails, heads, couple of heads, tails, a little more heads that time. Run it again, and this time seems more tails, so it does seem to be changing. And that's because the random range function is generating either a 0 or a 1 each time we go through for the toss. The if statement's printing heads or tails based on, based on that. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists.